Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have some graphical representations of the concept of potential or voltage and potential energy by causing two charges to be close together. The first one, we have a single point charge. It has a charge of Q and we want to know the voltage at some arbitrary distance R. The equation is KQ over R, but if we write it like this, the voltage or potential is equal to a constant times 1 over R. In other words, the voltage in this case is proportional to 1 over the distance. And so if we draw a graph of that, we have voltage versus distance away from the charge. You can see that it has a simple 1 over x kind of curve. The only difference is that there's a constant, k times q. k is a constant, q is the charge there. The bigger the charge, the higher the graph. The smaller the charge, the lower the graph. In the second case, we now have a second charge a small q that we bring into the presence of the big Q right here. And therefore there's going to be an interaction that's going to require a certain amount of work. And so finally the potential energy is going to be equal to the work that it took to bring the charge small q to that location at the distance r away from the point charge. The potential energy can then be written as k big Q small q divided by r. But if you write it like this, again you can see that the potential energy is going to be proportional to 1 over the distance. And so again we have that familiar 1 over x curve like this. The only difference is that we have a, a constant kqq. It's a different constant that we had over here. And so it will depend, the height of that graph will depend upon the size of big Q and the size of little q. But again that relationship is there. So you can see that the farther out you go, the smaller the potential. The farther out you go, the smaller the potential energy created by bringing the two charges together. So there's the general format of the curves for potential and potential energy. And that's how we know.